The little boy looked up and responded courageously, We have a home. We just don't have a house to put it in. <laughs> You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. John Willard here, the gentleman poet, storyteller, and the NACA contributor. Back for another show and poem also, and more bone-chilling truth. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. Friends, the Ozarks tantalizes the census. As sunrise breaks into daylight, I smile. One more sip of apple cider and my day will begin. I'm glad to have had these moments. I'm thankful for the peace of this morning. Trips down memory lane, mm -mm. it's where we have labored and loved and laid up our rich store of friends and times remembered. The mingled lives that give the Ozarks its texture. We are guided by the belief that the past comes most colorfully alive when it's told through the memories of those who really lived it. Remember the hummingbirds on last week's show? Remember the movie, Fried Green Tomatoes? Ruth couldn't call home at the house with her husband in Georgia, but she had a good home at the Whistle Stop Cafe in Alabama. Friends, this little girl apparently had a good home. The teacher was making out a registration card. What is your father's name? The teacher asked. Daddy, answered the little girl. Yes, I know, but what does your mother call him? Mother doesn't call him anything, the little girl replied. She likes him. <laughs> oh, what's the difference between a home and a house? Anybody can build a house, but we need something more for the creation of a home. The house is an accumulation of brick and stone with an assorted collection of manufactured goods. A home is the abiding place of ardent affection, of fervent hope, of genial trust. There is many a homeless man who lives in a richly furnished house. There's many a modest house in the crowded street, which is an illuminated and beautiful home. The sumptuously furnished house may be only an exquisitely sculptured tomb. The scantily furnished house may be the very hearthstone of love. The Bible does not say very much about homes. It says a great deal about the things that make them. It speaks about life and love and joy and peace and rest. If we get a house and put these things into it, we shall have secured a home. Commenting on numerous interviews with people just before they died. Elizabeth Ross said, None of them ever told me how many houses she had. What they tell you are very tiny, almost insignificant moments of their lives. When they went fishing with a child or some brief moments of an interpersonal relationship. These are the things that keep people going to the end. 
they remember little moments that they had long forgotten. And they suddenly have a smile on their faces and they begin to reminisce about little memories that make their whole life meaningful and worthwhile. Let me share this poem, Happy Home. There are many different kinds of homes, but I thank God for one, the happy place where I can go when my day is done. Some homes are built on sinking sand without a good foundation. But mother is a cornerstone. She has an open invitation to visit at any time, from morning till close of day. I thank God for our happy home, for mother has made it that way. Oh, friends, a reporter rushed to a fire where a house was steadily burning down to the ground. The entire structure was ablaze. The newsman noticed that there was a little boy standing nearby with his mom and dad watching everything go up in flames. With sympathy in his voice, the reporter said, Son, it looks like you don't have a home anymore. The little boy looked up and responded courageously. We have a home. We just don't have a house to put it in. <laughs> oh, friends, how much better could it be explained than that? This little boy knew what made his home. The walls of the house are not built of wood, brick, or stone, but of truth and loyalty. Our house is a fortress in a warring world where loving hands buckle on your armor in the morning and soothe your fatigue and wounds at night. The beauty of our house is harmony. The security of our house is loyalty. The joy of our house is love. The comfort of our house is in contact with people. The maker of our house, a real human house, is the same who made the stars and built the world. Friends, I'm out of time right now because I've got to give the pups their chow. <laughs> you can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. Until next week, friends, this is John Willard from the farm.